Aloha, like family. Here's me, Lisa Transcendence Brown, straight out of bed. <laughs> hey, you know, got to do it when you can do it, right? Okay, so, um, so many people are in so many different places. Um, you have those who are, their souls have awoken, and they're awakening to the corruptness and, and how everything isn't right, and the, all of, all of the, we call it lower density, because technically it, it's a vibrational thing, and so all of the lower density realities uh, all have to come up in, in order to be seen, become visible, so that we realize um, that this is a part of the human experience that we were meant to transcend from within. Um, and, and then you have those who have gone through the heavy duty stuff, finally, saying, wow, I'm coming out on the other side. And they're in that playful, happy place, which is the rebirthing of the higher self aspect as the wonder filled child. And you have, and there's, it brings through the light, it's light, it's fun, it's playful, and we stay there for a while. Um, then, you have those who are sleeping, foggy, groggy, can't function, can't get out of the bed, going through the anchoring of photonic light in their physical bodies, going through the anchoring of the lucid dream in the physical realm. Um, you have those who are going through the physical pain, the emotional pain right now, clearing the density from the body and, and the separation from the body. Um, which is a very important part of the process. None of us like it, but it's very necessary to go through. Um, the, the more separation we held, the more physical and emotional pain there is, if you will. Um, some of us had no lifetimes before this one, like me. Um, I was a walk-in, and I had no previous incarnations, which is why I had to experience everything in this physical reality and, and come into consciousness so late in the game, if you will, um, to be a forerunner, to be a way shower, to be a gatekeeper, all of these things, and a grid keeper for New Earth. Um, I, had, I was one of those that chose the extreme, and still do love extreme because it brings things through really fast. Um, but as a human, extreme is intense, and as a higher self, it's intense too. Some prefer the soft, easy way, and that's okay too. Everybody chose different ways, and that's important to respect, honor, and observe. Yeah, we got the roosters going because it's time to wake up, everybody. <laughs> okay. Skies awesome right now it's all different colors that are soft and it just keeps changing hues and going in and out and hearts popping up in the sky and then it'll go pinks and i've been sharing some of the pictures in the morning okay yeah i got sidetracked okay yeah i can do that with this guy all right so or anything actually all right um you have those who are have been in the playful area for a while and rebirthing themselves, their new reality, and then it's time to start stepping into creator roles, getting themselves out there, getting in service. Um, and this is a very challenging place to be because you have to learn, remember, how to anchor all those dreams in the physical, get them out there, and support yourself. Because while we still have a physical money society reality, then physical money still plays in those realities too. And many don't know, don't understand how this works. And it's a part of the process too. Uh, we go through many trials and tribulations, getting out there um, and, and reaching those we're meant to reach and receiving support in response because most don't understand that humans don't support. They don't step up. And, and when you have a dominant human world, then basically it's slim pickings. Basically those who actually step up and come through are very few and, and far between. It's up to each one of us to do the work. And this is where light work comes in. We'll have to work through all of our lack, everything we feed, the energy of others and their lack, 
feeding that energy, stop feeding that energy, and then all in alignment with source, all in alignment um, as the universe, all in alignment with, with what you're shown to do, getting your projects out there, all of these things are creations. Um, when I came through, it wasn't easy because nobody understood because um, I was working in service fully, still do, every moment of the day, doesn't stop. But we, and I had this conversation yesterday, in, in the beginning we don't depend on others. We, we, we went through surviving things, a lot of us. Um, we learned to do it all by ourselves. We didn't need anybody. And then we have to give all that up, if you will. We, ha we have to let all that go and we have to learn to depend on others and, and let go of that separation and come together and work together, part of unity consciousness. But when it's time to step into those roles, and, and which is where a lot of people are coming to, souls are coming to, um, it is to actually be in service fully and be supported fully, then that's a whole different part of the mastery game, if you will. Um, that's a whole new balancing act. That's a whole new art. And every part of this is... Um, doing it fully, being fully abundant, and dedicating everything that you got without sacrificing yourself, because we do have to go the, through the sacrificial stages too, um, and, and we'll sacrifice, and then we stop sacrificing, and then, then we have to sacrifice, and then we have to be willing to sacrifice, and then we have to stop sacrificing altogether, because we're not supposed to sacrifice anymore. It's part of Unity, Christ did, crystalline consciousness. Everything is. You will go from one extreme to the other until you find the balance, until you unify all aspects within. And, and, and you'll play out every role as you will, as a higher self and a human. Every one of these, you'll have to do it over and over again until you get it. That's what this is. Um, once you, the sleepy phases, um, come and go, but they're very different. The physical body phases come and go. They're very different. Um, our different body parts, if you will, uh, while our systems are completely re reconfigured and restructured from the inside out, are the, the all new foundations are built and, and very stable. Um, and and there, you go through the deconstruction phase and reconstruction phase, and, and everything is built in alignment with source code. Everything is built in alignment in flow with the universe. Everything is kept in that alignment and we don't ever get out of that alignment anymore. Everything is fully connected. Everything is divine. Everything is beautiful, magnificent, a blessing, a gift, everything. There isn't one thing that is not. Um, but then you step into the um, basically the parenting role, then you have to go through being the mother, being the father, being God consciousness, a, a divine mother energy. Um, you'll go through playing out every role, finding the balance. You'll go through the goddess energy, clearing those distortions, carrying all these energies within. Yes, you'll go through Christ, Christed energies as well. And a lot of people, let me tell you, when we go through that and, and fully remembering from the depths of our soul, when we start having the actual experience and, and we're there, but it's here because you don't go anywhere at all. Profound opening up everything we got it is deeply, it is profound. There are no words. And I had this conversation yesterday with somebody else that just went through. It's beautiful. And it changes your entire reality, your whole world. Nothing is ever the same again. Our realities go from being very physical to completely energetic. We exist holographically, if you will. We'll go through phases where we feel invisible and we become spirit informed. We, we go through phases and, and part of the, we float. We're not attached or completely detached. Don't care, doesn't matter. It, the details don't matter, nobody cares. Um, and, and you start to realize what's really important really and you start realizing how important your energy is your whole value system will be deconstructed and re reconstructed from the inside out what you value will change what's important will change what you have to contribute 
will change. Everything will change. And, and most of us, until we want it in our world, we're not willing to do that. Um, and what we have to do is the moment we desire something in the world, we realize, well, I have to do that first. I have to be that first. And so when I wanted, so I'm going to go to a couple because these have been really prominent along the way. But when, when let's say I was living on donations for a while and, and people weren't donating and, and I was giving everything I had every moment of every day, 24 seven online, helping people answering the questions, coming through, showing up every day. And it wasn't appreciated other than through, thank you. I really appreciate it, Lisa. And, and, and I got really angry. And you go through being disgusted and really angry at humanity. You, you go through a lot of these things. And you'll clear the energy. And this is when your way short comes out. This is when you step up and say, you know what? I don't need you guys. I'll do it all by myself. And this is what is going to be your driving force. That's going to get you in gear. But I had to start step up and supporting others. I had to start paying it forward. I had to start gifting back. I had to start doing all these things if I wanted to receive those realities in my world. I had to start respecting and appreciating and all of these things if I wanted it in my world. We have to do the energy first. You have to do that. You have to hold that vibration if you want to experience it. So you, we don't just sit around and wait for things to come to us. We move the energy ourselves. We get it done. And this is going to be a part of your divine masculine once you go through the divine feminine and mastering the being phase. The, the pulling and the away, the floating, the, the profound, deep love, as you master holding that energy for all things as one, then there will be a shift where it's time to step it up and get it done. You'll know when it is, but when you start getting to that place, then it's time to step into the responsibilities that we hold, which are profound, which are, which are huge. Um, this is your power. This is the divine power that, that you're going to be bringing through. And it takes a lot of power to do what we're here to do. And this is the part that, that it, you master being and you master doing. And you master creation, birthing the child, birthing your, your own aspects, nurturing them, bringing them into fruition, all of these things. You'll, you'll, you'll master every one of these and bring them into the physical world. Um, it is a process. There are so many processes that have to occur. So much that has to occur inside the physical body for you to hold this amount of light, for you to completely recreate realities um, from scratch. We, 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 we start out, we have to go through the trenches, we have to, we have to go through all of these processes. Which is why I share what I share is the processes and how they work. Because if you understand it, the knowledge is power. And and I have to say thank you to John Burgos in a telesummit one day because he said technology for the soul. And I'm like, oh my God, that's what I do. It, it, this is technology. It's knowledge. But for me, I saw the word technology broken down. And it's one of the things I'm going to be using, um, which is um, T-E actually stands for something. I can't even remember what it is right now. But then knowledge, and then, um, so it's technology, and the ends in an E instead of a Y. So it's spelled a little bit funny to get the point across. But there are logistics. There are mechanics, quantum mechanics, when we get into all of this. There are, there is the, the it's a very, physiological process. There is a lot of recoding and decoding and, and remapping and reconfiguring and recalibrating and new codes and code activations. All of these things have to occur in the physical body and our, our energy field, which merges inside our body. Um, and I know I'm talking my language right now, but, but a lot of you will understand this. And if you don't, that's okay. Be patient. You will. It's a part of the process as well. Um, the reason I'm mentioning this is, is because our realities become energetic um, instead of very physical ones. 
um, are, are what used to be, we used to run around as humans doing, 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 busy, 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 and, and all that goes. And as we become still, as we become very focused, we cut out all the riffraff, we cut out all the distractions. We, we say, no, don't want that in my world. It's not contributing. It's not supporting. Don't need it. I got things to do. Um, and those who we come into connection with have really important purposes too. And we can check and see if they're ready and if they're ready to step up and if they're re already doing or if they've got a lot of human stuff to go off and, and still need to do in order to come to whatever place they need to come to. It's not a judgment. It's an acknowledgement and an understanding for how all of this works. And it's really important to understand these things too. Um, as realities become energetic, holographic, um, many different things. It's a field of consciousness that you function in, a super field of consciousness that you exist in where everything is present, everything is visible. Um, through, through energy and codes and sequences and ratios and, and, and all of these equations and, and things. Let's see if I can go back to being more understandable on some. Um, the reason I say this is because your sleep state will change. You will be working in your sleep, working through things, and you'll wake up, you'll have the answers. You'll wake up, you'll know what to do. You will have worked it all out in your sleep state, consciously working with others, making connections with others. You don't know how many times I've connected with somebody in the dream state, which isn't a dream. It's very lucid. It's very real. You're actually interacting there. And then they show up in my world recently and I giggle because I can't look at them and go, oh, you're a part of my dream. Yep. I created you. Well, you can. And they got to get it first because it becomes quite comical. Because you can actually focus, that you have enough connection energetically within yourself to actually focus your energy on anything you desire and bring it forth here. It's beyond cool. You work out um, the energies that, that, that were in the way, if you will, you clear them in your sleep. You make uh, connections with other uh, beings, all kinds of beings, in, in your lucid, dreamy state. And it's a conscious dream state. And then it doesn't even be, it's not even a dream anymore. It's another reality. And you're working in them 24-7. doesn't stop. We don't sleep the same here anymore. Um, you'll go through periods where you need a lot of sleep. You'll go through periods where you don't need any at all. And this is on purpose. Um, every bit of this is, and everything has an important um, reason for why these things occur. As you shift in and out of realities, as you shift in and out of states, as you shift in and out of dimensions, it'll get confusing because you won't know which reality you're in. Um, and then you will. You'll question your sanity all along the way, especially every time you do a dimensional shift. Um, in the beginning, they start as things moving, and, and you'll have a shift. Um, and then it's much more subtle. Um, and then it's just you can see it all as it occurs. A lot of people now are experiencing feeling the other dimensions, things touching them, um, which gets a bit bizarre, um, which is kind of cool because you can actually feel it. You can actually hear. A lot of people are hearing the other dimensions, which is opening their mind, expanding their mind to comprehend this. Um, and then even that goes be, because everything is present. And so, all right. I had a purpose here, and I always do. I just never know what it is <laughs> until I start talking, right? All right, um, I think the reason I started this was to say that, that all of your work, you'll do it in your sleep. And then you get up, and, and days are for accomplishing things. Days are for um, living out your purposes. Days are for fulfilling um, whatever you're to fulfill here. Days are different. Um, the waking state is different um, here. And uh, how you function, your physical body will constantly upgrade to support you in the next phase, but you won't know what that is until you get there. Um, we go through activation of the kundalini in the spine, and then we move to light body, and then we move to crystalline, and then we move to plasma. Um, 
And then we move to, um, we go to, to the crystal skull activations, and then we move to other things. We move to being a light being in the purity phase. And so there are different phases, and they can get intense, and they take a while. They're not an overnight thing. They take years. Um, some of us, we've been doing this as the whole physical this lifetime. All of us have. It's just that we become conscious of it, and we understand it. Um, so... When you start to realize that you're working things out in your sleep, you're making connections in your sleep. Um, I used to, I would be working with like a, a bazillion people in my sleep, teaching them. And then I would wake up and, and I would start teaching a new class. Um, new clients would come forth and, and I had worked with them in my sleep and then they arrive. It's just really kind of cool. Um, in the beginning, we call it deja vu. Um, in the beginning, we have all these words, but it expands so far beyond. Those are just basically the, the, the beginning points, if you will, to get our mind open to what all this is. So, um, basically, be patient, stay present, honor your process, honor you, realize that nothing is as you thought it was, um, everything is as you perceive it to be. But nothing is as you perceive it to be, <laughs> or as you believe. Um, you, you have to believe in it first for it to materialize. This, this is a belief reality, that you believe it into reality here. And so whatever you believe, that's your reality. So you have to start working with your mentalities and your beliefs. And, and then there are things you have to do um, in order to maintain those highest vibrations in order to embody that instead of it just something out there that you listen to. Um, the physical body has to go through a rigorous upgrade process that continues. And now, in the last many months, we have expedited everybody's physical reality and physical body is being realigned faster and more intensely for us, it's immense. It's beautiful. It's expansive. It's huge. Um, the intensity isn't there anymore. Um, it, it comes and goes. And if it does, it's like, wow, this is like huge. And we get through it because we know how important it is. Um, and then we move on. And the rest of the time, it's, it's not intense. Um, the physicalness of everything goes. It's not as physical here. Everything is energetic. Um, your, your emotions, you don't have the emotions that you did. They're very different. Everything is, is basically inside. And you can, and they're all always there. It's always bliss. It's always magic. It's always peace. It's always love. It permeates and fills every cell of your being. And you don't have to go from one extreme to the other anymore. Um, the extremes go as you clear those programs inside of you, as you clear the beliefs, as you clear all of these things and cleanse it from the imprints in your cells, as you clear it from the programs, clear the programs from your cellular body, your cellular memory. Um, physically, your whole body functioning will change. Um, it, it's, it's a huge process, um, to say the least. All right, so right now... It has been, it's interesting this month, um, November, we're, we're moving into now the 1111 gateway that's going to start opening up, usually around the 1st of November, but we'll see. It should be pretty soon. This week is very tame, very quiet. Um, there's a lot, there was a lot of disconnecting from, from the grid, but you can disconnect but not be disconnected. You, be, you can be aware you're disconnected. And you still can function and move through and accomplish things. It's just a different, um, it's just different. As the energy shifts, as your um, ability to stay connected changes, um, you don't disconnect fully. You're just aware there's a disconnect going on. You don't feel anything when this is going on. Um, but you're still able to do um, after a while. For a while, you can't do anything. And you got to be okay with that, too. There's a lot of detachment going on. There's a lot of disconnection going on for people who are leaving the old behind, who are disconnecting from those realities. And when you get to this point where you can't feel anything, it gets a bit scary in the beginning because it's like, wait a minute, I can't feel. 
And when I started doing this years ago, it freaked me out a bit because I felt like something was wrong with me. So those of you who are going through the I can't feel phase, that you're going through a template way. And what's happening is all of that old energy that you are carrying is cleansing. And you'll hit a zero point. And once you do, when you're when you're finished emptying out, then, then more of who you truly are will come in. And these are profound. Your heart will open bigger. You will have more profound, deep, sacred love. Your Everything will be very sacred. And, and you'll have more. So be patient if you're in those places where you can't feel anything at all. It's a very important place to be. It'll shift. Um, do whatever feels appropriate for you. Sometimes you have to get up and go do something. Sometimes you got to take a day off. Just go have a pretty day or, or a macho day or whatever day you like to have. A fun day and then come back. It, it'll raise your vibration and it'll inspire you and it'll move the energy out. Other days you just pull away and you stay in it because you know how important it is not to be around others and to be by yourself. Because when your soul is emerging, when your higher self is moving into your body, you cannot be around anybody else. You need your time and there is a lot of this now. So I hope this helps and um, I'll get some more pointed um, topics to talk about. I've got a gazillion. I'm just trying to work through them as I can. So, um, anyway, have an amazing day. Get ready. We're about to shift, guys. Uh, we're finishing out right now. We're, we're still, the energies for a lot of people are quite intense, but they're actually really calm right now. This month was a leveling out phase. Um, we went through a huge, um, couldn't function brain-wise phase. Um, I hadn't gone through foggy groggy basically in years. Um, and we went through foggy groggy for a couple weeks, which is a big deal. It, it, it removes the veils um, of amnesia, if you will. And it also, um, how we function and where we process from. Our, our, our crystals in our body, our crystalline structure, our, our computer chips in our body. We become a processor, a computer processor, if you will. We, we process information. We process everything simultaneously right then, instantly. And so... Um, the amount of knowledge and our ability to function and have every dimension present right then, every reality, every, para every parallel, everything, everything right there is awesome. This is why you focus on keeping your heart open. And, and it will never close again. You'll never go back. So be patient and honor your process because you, it's about staying fully expanded in all these other dimensions and holding them in you. Um, for a long time, we thought we were going somewhere. You're not going anywhere. You're doing it all right here. So this is the most important thing. Honor your body. Love your body. Nurture your body. All of these things. Very important. All right, guys. I love you. Come see us, me and the team, and everybody else at AwakeningToRemembering.com. Come join us. We've got lots going on. More coming up. We never stop. And um, we've got telesummits. We've got interviews that you can listen to that are free. We did one yesterday on I Want to Heal. And it'll be up for the week. So make sure you go listen to it while it's available. We talked about uh, what's important for the group we were talking to um, and about a lot of these things and things that you can do um, because that's the point. All right. I love you. Have an amazing day. Mahalo.